Life is full of ups and downs. We all make mistakes. But imagine you made a mistake that follows you for the rest of your life, that stops you from achieving reasonable life goals. Unfortunately for too many Georgians, that is reality for people who have a criminal record. In 1986, the Georgia Justice Project decided to address that cycle. And we do that in three different ways, through our holistic defense work, our reentry lawyering work, as well as our policy and community outreach work. And so today, we really talk about our work as a multidisciplinary or interdisciplinary sort of work, where lawyers and social workers work together. The idea is not just to solve their legal case, but really use the leverage of the fact that we are a free lawyer to then help that client address the underlying issues that are not allowing them to accomplish their own goals in life. So if you look across the U.S., um, Georgia is the highest state with individuals that's under correctional control. So the various issues that our clients deal with, such as mental health, substance abuse issues, and even poverty, we have seen changes in their ability to make different decisions. They're able to possibly go out and get employment, and even just down to simple feeling like, okay, I'm empowered, I have a voice, and I am someone, is very important and vital to those that we work with. It's something that we see a lot of. One of our clients, Willie, spent many years in the prison system. With our support, we were able to keep him connected to his loved ones. GJP represented me. You know, they were fighting for my life. It's like the system was designed to tear down family because they would transfer me so far away from home that my family wouldn't be able to afford to come and visit me. But through GJP, I would get to see them three or four times a year. So that kept a bond there. And I appreciate GJP for that, and I will for the rest of my life. So we're talking about facing the many barriers that come with having a criminal history. Barriers to every area of your life, employment, housing, attending college. And it can be very difficult to deal with, to understand why something that you did in your past should be held against you for the rest of your life. One of our clients, Vaccaro, came to see us a couple of years ago because he was facing roadblocks due to his criminal history. It was discouraging, you know, on several occasions, applying for housing. I can't remember exactly where this application was, but they sent me back a list of the disqualifying factors and it was like, okay, yeah, I, I gotta do something about this. GJP came in and expunging and sealing whatever could be sealed. The level of opportunity has increased, and I know that without the help of GJP, that, that wouldn't be the case. We are trying to move Georgia in line with other states that have recognized how important it is to get people back to work and for people to be able to pursue other opportunities. If we are able to expand expungement in Georgia, it could potentially impact the lives of hundreds of thousands of Georgians who want to be able to take care of their families because they would be able to move into a higher paying job. Most of the people that come to see us come because they are having difficulty getting a job. One example is our client, Elvina. My situation was uh, some furniture that I had bought and I just stopped working, I lost my job. And I wasn't able to make like the last two payments. And they wanted to charge me for theft by taking. Um, but I knew that if I searched for employment, if this was on my record, that there would be you know, slim to no chance of me getting the job. When I got involved with Georgia Justice Project, um, they were able to have the case dismissed. I'm thankful for the Georgia Justice Project because without them, I would not have been able to have the confidence in applying for jobs. Two jobs, actually. I got to choose which job I wanted to, <laughs> wanted to take, and I'm currently working for them now. Breaking through some of these barriers has not been simple but it's certainly worth the effort. We've been able to affect 19 different laws in Georgia that affect 4.3 million Georgians with a criminal record. This isn't just a select few. This will affect all of us. So when we do our work, we don't just see legal cases. We see people who are looking for a second chance. 
With GJP, there's no doubt in my mind that I was able to get a second chance. With Georgia Justice Project, I got a second chance. And I want to say this, with GJP, I got a second chance.